everyone and welcome to Journey with the Kellers. My name is Amanda Keller and today we are in the Keller kitchen again. So today we are back with Gordon Ramsay. We're going to be making something from the Uncharted cookbook. So today's uh, item for cooking is, let me check to make sure we are still in Peru. Yes, we are. Okay. So I may mess this up when I say it, just so you know. Um, it has it as Raz Al Hanut braised beef short ribs okay so this is a uh, cool little short rib recipe now here's the thing i couldn't find short ribs here in our local market um so i actually just had to get um pork i think it's let me check rib tips or something um yeah oh these are actually country style lip ribs but they are pork and usually short tip short ribs are usually beef um, but it was what I could find, so it's what we're using. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to need to do to kind of prep for this is you're going to need to slice up two yellow onions, which I already have done here. Um, and then, of course, you're going to need your ribs. You're going to need a Dutch oven, okay? So you basically need to take two tablespoons of grapeseed oil. And we're just going to do one and two. And you're going to put that in the bottom of your Dutch oven. And then you're going to, of course, heat that up a little bit. And while that is heating, you're gonna take your short, your rib, short ribs or ribs or whatever you're using. Um, and it says you need six two inch pieces of bone in um, short ribs. So about two pounds. Um, I think this is a little over, this is 2.38 pounds, but it'll work. You're just gonna salt and pepper these. So put a little salt on them. And it says to liberally do it. So, you know, put quite a bit of salt and pepper on them. So we're gonna salt and pepper them up here. A little salt. Ah, can't get the lid back on. And a little pepper. Okay. Fantastic. Okay, now. Once your uh, grape seed oil is getting hotter, it's supposed to be like shimmering a little bit, then you're gonna go ahead and put your short ribs in here. Um, I usually use tongs to do this with. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna put these into the oil and you're going to sear them. So you're just gonna brown them around the outside and then you're gonna take them out of the oil. Um, once you take them out of the oil, you need to get rid of all the oil in the pan except for um, two tablespoons, all right? So go ahead and do that. Get your short, your ribs browned up and then take them out and set them to the side and just leave about two tablespoons of oil. And I'll be back after I get that done to show you what's next. All right, you guys. So once you get your uh, ribs nice and browned up on all sides here, you're gonna go ahead and take them out of the pan. Get them out of there, there. There we go. To get them a nice little golden brown on each side. Don't want to lift out. There we go. And there we go. Okay. All right. So you can just set these to the side for now. And your next step is going to be to add your onions into this pot. Now it looks like there's about two. Um, how much did it say to leave in there? Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. It's, it looks like there's about two tablespoons of fat in there to begin with. So you're just gonna go ahead and add your onions, your sliced up onions in. And uh, you're gonna just brown these in your pot until you get them kind of caramelized. It says it should take about eight minutes or so. We'll go ahead and get these all in and get them cooked up. Okay, and then once I get these uh, all caramelized and I'll be back and I'll show you the next step. So I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, so once you've gotten your onions nice and caramelized, which as you can see, they're nice and brown and limpy here. Um, what you're gonna do now is just add in some spices. So the first thing you're gonna do is put in one tablespoon of minced garlic, um, which I have a jar of minced garlic. You could probably mince your own if you want. That's up to you. Okay. Some minced garlic. And then you need a tablespoon let me make sure I'm reading that right. Oh, sorry, two tablespoons of Raz Al Hanat. Um, and I will actually put a link up to this on Amazon. It'll be an affiliate link, of course. Um, so if you guys want to uh, purchase that, you can purchase it through that link. 
Okay, so two tablespoons of that. Fabulous. Okay, then you need one teaspoon of ground white pepper. Then you need one tablespoon of paprika. All right, and then you also are gonna need one tablespoon of cumin seed, or cumin seed, however you wanna say it, and it's supposed to be crushed. I am just gonna use ground cumin because I have tried to crush cumin seed before. It's really hard. Okay, so one tablespoon of that. And then also one tablespoon of coriander seed crushed. Um, and of course, I'm just gonna use ground coriander here. Didn't know that was not open. So let's get that open here. And you're gonna let this cook for about two more minutes. Mix it up, let it cook until the spices are kind of toasting a little bit and you start to get, you know, a really nice fragrance coming from them. And you know, of course it's gonna to stick to the bottom of the pan, but that's okay, because we're gonna get that up here in just a minute. Let's get that nice and stirred up. Won't take long starting to smell them already. It's coming in real good. Mmm, 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 mmm. Smells good. All right. Okay, so we're getting a pretty good fragrance coming from those now. So now the next part you're going to do is basically you're gonna do what they call um, I would, oh, a deglaze of the pan. You're gonna take two cups of beef stock and one cup of water. Now I just put them together in one um, container and you're just gonna kind of pour that, you kind of wanna get it over the sides of the pan to kind of get everything kind of washed down and then, you know, down into the bottom of course. So just kind of wash off the edges of your pan. And then you want to take you like a scraper and you just want to scrape up anything that might be on the bottom of the pan, even little black pieces, whatever, just scrape it all up there. Okay. And then once you've gotten that all scraped up, you're just going to let this sit um, and you're going to bring it to a boil. Okay. Okay, so I think we got it all deglazed. Oh, but I forgot first, before you bring it to a boil, you gotta put your ribs back in. Okay. So let's take our ribs and place them back in here. Go. All right, now you're gonna bring that to a boil. And once it's come up to a boil, you're gonna cover it and you're gonna reduce the heat to low and you're gonna cook it until the ribs are about four tender, which is gonna take about two and a half to three hours, okay? So we're just gonna let these sit here and cook for a little bit and I will be back probably in about an hour so that we can do um, the couple of final steps before they're done. So I'll see you in a little bit. All right, you guys. So once your ribs have cooked for about an hour, you're gonna go ahead and add a couple more things to these. So you're gonna go ahead and add in a full cup of green pitted olives cut in half. Add that in. You're gonna add in one 15 ounce can of chickpeas drained. And the last thing that you're gonna put in is, is it one tablespoon? Let's see. Uh, oh, one teaspoon of preserved lemon um, finely diced. Um, you can find preserved lemon on Amazon, which is where I found this. So I'll leave a link for that in the description. And of course that's an affiliate link. Just any money I get helps out with ingredients and supplies. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and put that in there. 
kind of give it a little stir up. So basically what you're doing is you're making the ribs, but you're also making a soup to go with it. So it's kind of cool, kind of like it. Okay, got that all stirred up, got them all in there. You're gonna cover that back up and to continue to cook it for another hour to an hour and a half, okay? So we'll be back in a little bit. We have one more thing to make for this recipe and I'll be back in a little bit to make that for you. So we'll be right back. All right, you guys, so this is the last little part for the ribs before you, you know, put everything together and serve them. Okay, so first of all, what you're gonna do, this is called a green harissa, harissa, I'm not, H-A-R-I-S-S-A, -S -S -A. I'm not sure how to say that. Okay, so basically what you're going to need is you're gonna need three chilies finely chopped. Now, for some reason, we don't have green chilies at our store, so I just bought green chilies already chopped up. I'm just gonna kinda guess what three green chilies would look like. We're just gonna say about like that. So there's that done. Then you're gonna need two Meyer lemons zesty, which I already have. And if you don't know what zesting means, it basically means that you're gonna take a grater, like I have my little grater here, and you're just gonna grate the peel on the outside all the way around the lemon. And just, that's called lemon zest. So there's that, okay? And you're gonna put that in there. Then you're gonna put in a bunch of cilantro finely chopped, okay? So basically, a whole bunch of cilantro, okay? Put that in there. Then you're gonna add one teaspoon of kosher salt. Okay. And then, um, oh yeah, a half a cup of, where am I, oh, here it is. A half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, which for some reason, all my cups are disappearing. I think I'm using too many of them. Okay, so a half a cup of this. Is there gonna be enough in there? Do I have to get the other jar? Oh, there's enough. Okay, there we go. All right, so a half a cup of extra virgin olive oil. Okay, you're gonna put that in there. You're gonna go ahead and mix that all up. And to call, I can see why it's called green, because it's very green. All right, there we go. A green harissa. I guess. All right, now this, you're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes. It says to let all of the flavors bloom, just let it sit there for 30 minutes. And then um, pretty soon our ribs will be ready and I can show you what to do next. So I'll be right back. I'm sorry, you guys, I did forget to add one thing to this harissa um, and that is also, it says a half a teaspoon of dried red chili flakes. Um, I'm just using chili powder because that's really all I have. So I'm just gonna guess on that. So yeah, so put that in there as well and mix that up. So there we go. It'll be listed in the ingredients in the description. I just skipped over it by accident. Wondered why that was sitting there on the counter. Okay, now let it sit for 30 minutes, okay? I'll be right back. All right, you guys. So for our last little part of this, all you're going to do is just add in a fourth a cup of chopped fresh parsley. Ooh, that just made a mess. And you're gonna stir that in there. And then you're, it's pretty much done after that. Now, I'm not gonna be able to do a taste test for it. And of course I can't find a spoon right now, but that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna be able to do a taste test for it because I actually have to go pick my daughters up from work. So, um, but that's it. So when you serve this, you basically take one of the ribs and you put it in a bowl. You scoop out some of the soup and you put it over top and then add in some of your, um, uh, da, 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 the green harissa. Harissa, I already say that. And then you can serve it with some toasted bread. And that's it. It looks delicious. I hope it's good. All right, I hope you guys like this video. Like and subscribe if you like, or don't if you don't. Otherwise, have a good day. Enjoy your cooking, and we'll see you later.